welcome back to my channel my name is destiny and today i'm just doing a review on the blow dryer brush and these are results i got the focus of this video will be on the revlon blow dryer round brush so yeah if you are interested in this video please keep on watching starting on freshly washed hair my hair feels so good feels very moisturized. I shampooed with my favorite shampoos from Shea Moisture, which is the purple rice water from Strength and Color Care Shampoo. It claims to be strengthening, but it's mainly moisturizing. Yeah, really good shampoo. And then I followed up with a Shea Moisture deep conditioner. Now this one's in one of their original lines. And this hair mask smells so good and it's so moisturizing. Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Hair Mask followed up with the Shea Moisture Strength and Color Care Primer and Styler. Also gonna follow up with just um, something a little bit thicker, which is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil strength and restore leave-in conditioner. I'm only gonna use a little bit of this because this can become heavy. It's really moisturizing and I just need that before I go in and blow dry my hair. I went to go get my heat protectant. I really did not want to. I think it's important to protect your hair from the heat. All right, here it is. The Revlon blow dryer brush. They have their regular blow dryer brush. This is the Revlon blow dryer round brush. One where you can kind of go around and around and around with it. it Took some getting used to myself. So, but um, I will be doing just a quick review on it and how I use it on my hair to get the straightest blowout possible. It has three settings right here, which are high, hot, cool, and off. If you look at them, here's like this little, it's like two brushes there. So you look closely, it has like little bristle brushes right here it's about $30 at Ulta usually they're about 60 but I got it on sale because they were having a sale going on you don't want to go really big sections you smaller sections so that you're not pulling out your hair it's like right up here my hair got kind of stuck up here so you definitely don't want any breakage I would say just go with smaller sections now I think this would be a good size section to start doing the blowout in my hair Okay, so this is my first section. We got it pretty straight. But basically what I did is I started at the ends, just rolling, going to continuous roll very slowly. Not to explain, but kind of just getting the hang of it, just going around and around with it. Alright, so that is another section as you can see. Straightest my hair has ever gotten with a blow dryer. Like it doesn't even get this straight when I use the blow dryer brush. It literally looks like I straighten my hair. But it did take about, to do about three subsections, smaller sections, it did take about, about eight minutes, give or take, so. So 
thing also is if you keep rolling it, you'll get like a kind of a bend. I do like that too. Um, I'm pretty hot, now you go about it. This is getting late and I'm getting lazy. I'm probably gonna do a bigger section, just to see. to give my hair like a little bump thing at the ends with the round brush so but this is what we're working with this took longer to do it gets my hair decently straight like and my roots my roots still have texture to them as you can see they don't get completely flat and then to be flatter i feel like this blow dryer brush could definitely do it overall i do like this one mainly for amazing and quicker on high heat i would say with low heat it takes it takes too long like you got to be patient and it might take you an hour and a half like i did if you're going to use this go ahead and use the high heat then get it over with it's better for flat irons now if you're doing blowout styles i do think the brush that one is going to be quicker for you I me mean, so yeah <laughs> all right so i am back today is the next step i did um the socks method which is basically i'll have a video linked right up here so that you can check out that video the video of the way i achieve these curls with literally just these six socks so i do really like how it came out it came out very fluffy and just my final review I would definitely give this blow dryer a Probably a 9 out of 10. It definitely does what it's supposed to do. It gets your hair really straight. It gets really hot. If you want to blow dry your hair in bigger sections, you can. I'm using this mainly for flat ironing my hair. I compare it with the regular Revlon blow dryer brush. I would say this one is great too. This one's gets is going to take you longer. So, but yeah. All right. So that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching again. Please like, comment, and subscribe and share if you care. I do appreciate it. I hope you all have a blessed day and I will see you all in my next video. Until next time.